Former President Donald Trump facing his latest criminal indictment. No president in U.S. history had ever been indicted until Donald Trump now facing his fourth indictment in a year. The latest charges coming out of Georgia accusing Mr. Trump and 18 of his allies of being part of a criminal enterprise to steal the 2020 presidential election. In some of those indictments, the state of Arizona is mentioned several times, so many are wondering if our state will pursue similar charges. Fox 10's Ellen McNamara is here now with the latest. Ellen. Well, guys, the short answer right now is we just don't know. We contacted the office of Attorney General Chris Mays, and we have not heard back yet. What we do know is that Trump lost here by a tighter margin than in Georgia. And as former state lawmakers, they have testified, like Rusty Bauer, for example, they were under intense pressure to overturn our results. Now, in the new indictment out of Georgia, the prosecution referred to events that happened here to help build the racketeering part of their case. The document is alleging that the same alleged criminal enterprise that operated in Georgia also operated here. The indictment also mentions the pushing of fake electors. Trump responded, calling the Georgia DA out of control and also very corrupt. He also said it's part of a witch hunt. Now, all 19 people who have been charged have until next Friday to turn themselves in. As for our state, even though we have not heard anything from Attorney General Chris Mays, we did get other reaction from some pretty important political people. So coming up here at 5 o'clock, our Nicole Garcia is talking with former Governor Jan Brewer, Doug Ducey, and current Governor Katie Hobbs. What they said about what could happen here legally, if anything. Ellen McNamara, Fox 10 News.